I just want you to imagine this for a second. You are standing in line for coffee and your phone suddenly buzzes and a user reports a bug or a client wants a quick change or you suddenly got an idea that cannot wait. Normally that's where it dies because real app building still feels like something you need a proper desk and time for. But today that completely changes because Rocket.new, the same AI platform I've already covered in this channel for building apps and website just by prompting has now launched a full-fledged mobile app. And this is not a companion app. This is the entire Rocket Build Studio right inside of your pocket. I'm talking about creating, fixing, iterating and even deploying apps right from your smartphone. On a commute between meetings from bed at midnight when inspiration randomly hits. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to build full-fledged mobile apps or web apps right from your smartphone and how your phone stops being a consumption device and becomes your main creation tool. And if that sounds interesting, without wasting any more time, let's quickly get started. As you can see, here I have opened up the rocket.new app on my iPhone. And again, the first thing that you have to do is to click the link in the description below or open App Store and search for rocket.new. And as you can see, this right here is the App Store listing. And as you can see, it says Rocket, that is Pocket App Studio. So if you haven't already, just go ahead and install the latest version. And once you install and open it up, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. So at first, you'll be asked to log in to your account. You can use the same account that you used to log in to their web interface. So just use Google, Apple or whatever method and sign into your account. And once you sign in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. So towards the center, we have an input box and all I have to do is to just explain what kind of app I want to build in plain English and again, I can click this send button. And the interesting thing is that you can use this very own mobile app for creating dashboards, landing pages, web apps, mobile apps, like pretty much everything is available in this app right here. And again, if I click on this settings option right here, I'll be able to click on this integrations option and as you can see, all these integrations like Superbase, Netlify, GitHub, Stripe, Gemini, OpenAI, Anthropic, Recent. So pretty much all those integrations are available in the mobile app too. So basically this app has got pretty much everything that you will need to build a full-fledged app right from your smartphone. And yet another interesting feature is that, for example, let's say you're outside and you quickly got an app idea and you just gave a prompt and started working on the same. And now you have built the initial version of the app right from your smartphone. And now once you're after, let's say, back home, you can open the web version of Rocket.new and start working on the exact same project. Or let's say you've been working on a new project from the web version of Rocket.new. Well, you can continue working on the same from the mobile version. So you can actually access the same project both on the web version and also on the mobile app. So in this case today, let's just say I want to create some sort of app. Well, in that case, all I have to do is to give that prompt in here. All right. And for today's video, I'm going to give this prompt right here. And as you can see, it says make a fitness and progress tracker mobile app where users can log workouts, track daily activity, monitor weight and body metrics and view progress charts. And again, I also mentioned to include profile setup, goal setting and weekly insights. And again, depending on exactly what you want to build, all you have to do is to go ahead and give an elaborative prompt and you can simply click on this send button right here. All right. So I have sent the message and as you can see, it says thinking. Okay. Let's just wait. And now here it says I have found a few similar templates and review and select a template you would like to use. So in this case, I'll just select the option that says don't want to use a template. But if you want to get started from a template, you can click on this view templates option and select one of the uh, many templates that they have. But in this case, let's start from scratch. So it says preparing context. So let's wait. So there you go. It says select the screen you wish to build. So I'll select all the options in here. Basically, you can review all the screen options in here and select the screens that you want. And again, I can click on this build my mobile app button right here. And as you can see, it also says that token consumption is directly related to the number of screens generated. All right. So there you go. Here I can find all the screens that I selected and pretty much everything is in progress. And it will take about 10 to 20 minutes for Rocket to complete implementing like building the app from scratch and also implementing all these pages. So I'll sit back and wait and I'll see you afterwards. All right. So there you go. As you can see, all the screens are now completed and it seems like we have the app ready. And it says added login and registration screens with form validation, implement a dashboard with metrics tracking, workout logging, progress charts, create a responsive design using Sizer package, 
haptic feedback okay that's interesting and again here we also have this demo login credentials which is demo at fittracker.com and the password is fitness at 123 and if i click on this files option i'll be able to find the complete list of files that the a has created or made changes to and now towards the top i can find a couple of options like chat preview code and more and now if i click on this preview button right here i'll be able to find a preview of our app so this right here is the splash screen and this right here is an onboarding flow so it says track your workouts okay i can scroll visualize your progress towards the top i have the skip button and also the get started button and again this right here is the app that the ai has built for us and now i can click on get started okay this is interesting so first of all it is asking us to set your first goal choose a goal to get started on your fitness journey and here we have a couple of options like lose 10 pounds run 5k gain muscle uh, stay active so in this case let's just say stay active all right and now i'll click on continue and in this page it says enable features and it says allow access to enhance your fitness tracking experience and it is asking the permission for camera access and also notifications in which case i'll click on continue and look at that oh the ui is actually good okay what you see on the screen right now is the ui of the app that the ai has built and towards the top i can find a summary it says the number of steps calories water active minutes and then here we have quick actions like log workout add weight take photo so recent activity so for the time being all of these are dummy data here we have all these charts graphs achievements upcoming reminders okay this is actually cool man like in just a single prompt what the ai has built it is actually really great and if i click on this log workout option it moves to the workouts tab and here i have the option to okay workout logging so i can find all these exercises like for example squats running deadlift cycling maybe i can select cycling so as soon as i select the same the same is updated at the top and it says uh, current exercise cycling and previous performance 45 minutes at moderate intensity and if i click on the start workout time as you can see here we have active workout and again towards the top i also have the option to save it okay so that's there next up in the progress section i'll be able to track all my progress in here okay so it's actually very feature rich is what i would say we have a lot of screens a lot of options and a lot is going on in here and look at the amount of options that we have in the profile settings so we can enter the name email age height weight here we can set up the fitness preferences notification settings okay so this right here is the ui of the app that the ai has built and that too in just a single prompt so that's an interesting thing okay so towards the top i can also find yet another option that says code and if i click on the same i'll be able to find all the code and files responsible for this app and i can use this option to explore all the folders all the files so if you're interested in viewing all that you have the option and again similar to the web version we also have the option to download the code and also push all this code into a github repo and next up if i click on this more option right here here i'll be able to find even more option so first of all integrations so if i click on this integrations option as you can see i'll be able to let's say integrate all these services into this app like Superbase, Recent, Stripe, Perplexity, Anthropic, Gemini, OpenAI, etc. For example, let's say I want to integrate, let's say OpenAI or let's say Gemini. Well, let's just say OpenAI. So I can click the same. And as you can see, all I need to do is to enter my OpenAI API key in here. All right. And next up, let's just say you want to add real authentication and a backend to your app. Well, you can implement and let's say do that using Superbase. Maybe I can go ahead and create a new project, select the server and link the same and a will go ahead and add the same and again yet another interesting thing is that you can even generate an apk file and download the same right within this interface right here so as you can see here we have an option that says launch on android phone and if i click on the same as you can see it says build and download your apk and test on your android phone or emulator and if i click on this build apk button rocket.new will go ahead and package everything and create the apk file and you can download the same to your device and once you have the apk file you can transfer it over to an android device and sideload the app and use it right in your phone okay so that's also one more option that is available right within the rocket.new mobile app and next step i'll also show you how to add some sort of integrations into the app so in this case we have almost all the features that we asked for in here 
it's just that we haven't really added let's say a backend or authentication but if you want to you can totally do it by adding superbase and again i'll show you how we can add some sort of integrations right from the mobile device itself for example let's just say i want to add a chatbot a fitness chatbot into this app and i want to indicate open ai so the idea is that the user should be able to come and ask any questions related to fitness and our ai chatbot will be able to let's say respond to the user so that is the next feature that i want to add so in that case i'll head back to chat and i can give a prompt in here so as you can see this right here is the prompt i'll give and it says next up i want to add a ai fitness chatbot to the app so users can chat with ai on topics related to fitness and workout and i also explicitly mentioned that i plan to use open ai api and now i'll click on the send button right here okay so in which case let's wait for it and there you go now rocket is asking me to enter my open ai api key so i already went ahead and generated an api key from platform.openai.com and i have copied the same and now i'll simply paste that in here okay so there you go the key is in here and i can click on continue all right so it says connected to open ai and it says i'm working on your request all right so there you go AI fitness coach feature is also introduced and as you can see here we have a new page called as ai fitness chat and if i open the same it opens up this chat interface right here and as you can see it says hello i'm your ai fitness coach i can help you with your workout plan nutrition advice uh, form tips and motivation what would you like to know so maybe first of all i'll start by sending a symbol hi and let's see okay so there you go it says hi there how can i assist you on your fitness and nutrition journey today and now i can ask a question for example let's just say what should i eat for breakfast and now i can click on the send button and let's just see all right so there you go it says for a balanced breakfast consider these options so greek yogurt oatmeal omelette smoothie so yeah that feature is also working and in a similar fashion if i want to let's say access any other pages i can do it and as you saw this is how simple it is to add integrations right within the rocket.new mobile app and again that's for using it on the mobile app and now let's just say i want to continue working on the exact same app on my laptop well next up i'll show you exactly how so as you can see here on my laptop i have visited rocket.new and signed it to the exact same account and if i scroll down in the recent project section i can find the exact same project that i started from my smartphone as you can see fit tracker pro and if i open the same okay so there you go i can find pretty much everything in here i can let's say access the dashboard page yeah there you go i can find the ai coach in here i can send messages like this so up until now we were working on the app from our smartphone and now i opened up the web version of rocket.new and now i'm able to work on the exact same app from my laptop so here we have code we have integrations and we can manage pretty much all the integrations and do all sorts of stuff so as you saw this is how simple it is to use rocket.news mobile app for creating apps and websites right from the device that you have in your pocket and again make sure to click the link in the description below and download the rocket.new app and you can to start building apps right from your smartphone and that's exactly what i wanted to show you in today's video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one